Jeffrey, after doing conceptual art and, and fine art for so many years, what does it mean to you to be doing graphic art? Well, I like graphic art because I like uh, Andy Warhol's concept that you can do art that is mass produced and it can be used by the media and gets into people's homes instead of just being in galleries. <laughs> On the Joan Rivers show, I did a uh, backdrop uh, that's typical in my style for the rock band Oingo Boingo. And I had these men running and dogs barking, bats flying, and uh, it's something that's typically what I do. It's something that's very recognizable. What mediums do you work in? Well, I work in almost everything. Uh, I do drawings, paintings, uh, assemblages, books, uh, video, almost anything you can name. In the last five years I've dealt with island themes. I've done uh, a lot of traveling to Tonga and to Fiji, to the Cook Islands, and I've drawn on primitive themes, on Polynesian carvings and gods and icons. I like doing pieces as I travel and sort of leave them behind. It's sort of like give me, giving images back to the places that I go to. Right now we're in your office, and you mentioned your um, your performance art, and the office for you is a theme, and it's also an ongoing art piece. Would you talk about what an office means to you and how it relates to the artwork you're doing related to the theme of the office? Okay, well usually as an artist, you don't normally have an office. Usually you work in the studio with easels and so forth. So I took this idea of using an office, which is kind of a... Uh, not a normal thing for an artist to do. And what I've done is I set the office up like this with all the uh, objects that you need in an office, a telephone, a fan, uh, pens and staplers. And then uh, I advertise so people can come and make appointments. But I don't really say exactly what the office is for. So every time someone comes in, they have their own ideas of what they want to say. What kinds of people come to your office? Well, there's several different kinds. There's quite a few people that come and know it's an art piece, and they ask me about art and what's it for. Then there's other people that are not quite sure it's an art piece. Like I get like businessmen co coming in and interior designers, and they ask me about office f furniture and fixtures and things. Then you get people off the street that, that, that don't even have an idea what it's for, and they're trying to find out what it's about. Mm -hmm. So they ask me about all kinds of different things. And last but not least, we have your ceramics. Right. Uh, the ceramic pieces uh, were done in, in quite a big series. There was uh, many, many place settings of plates and bowls and cups and saucers. And you see a few of the examples here. But uh, I like that idea that uh, my designs can go on almost anything. Ceramics mm -hmm. and clothing and magazines, stickers. And uh, I'd like to continue designing different types of things. Thank you.